students how are you all i hope you all are fine and doing good today we will start a new chapter from this video the name of the chapter is halves and quarters in this chapter we will know about fraction and fractional numbers and more about fraction there are types of fraction and many word problems and sums related to fraction so before starting the chapter we should know what is fraction or what is a fractional number or how it looks like a fractional number consists of two numbers one will come at the top and the another one will come at the below suppose i am writing a fractional number here i am writing in this way 2 by 5 This is a fraction or fractional number, two by five. We can say in this way, the upper one that is the two is called the numerator. Is called numerator. N u m e r a t o r. Numerator. Okay, and the below one that one that is at the below is called denominator. And the spelling of denominator is. D E N O M I N A T O R denominator. So a fractional number consists of two numbers, numerator and denominator. Okay, the upper one is called the numerator and the lower one is called the denominator. Now the types of fraction. Fraction are mainly of three types: proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Okay, now what is proper fraction? Proper fraction are those fractions where numerator is less than denominator. Suppose I am writing here three by five. This is a fractional number three by five. Here, which one is the numerator? You can easily say three is the numerator, and which one is the denominator? Five is the denominator. Here, numerator that is n is smaller than the denominator, so three by five is a proper fraction. So another example I am giving you is eleven by fifteen. Eleven by fifteen is also a proper fraction. Why? Because numerator is smaller than denominator. So if anyone will ask you what is proper fraction, then what you can say? You can say a proper fraction is a fraction where numerator is smaller than denominator. Okay. And the reverse one is improper fraction. Okay, what is improper fraction? Improper fraction are those fraction where numerator is greater than denominator. Numerator is greater than denominator. I am giving you a example. Suppose eight by three. Eight by three is also a fractional number. Okay, here which one is the numerator? Eight. Is the numerator and three is the denominator. You can see from here that numerator is greater than denominator. So where numerator is greater than denominator, that type of fraction is called improper fraction. Okay. Suppose I am giving you another example that is twenty five by twenty three. Twenty-five by twenty-three is also a improper fraction because here also numerator is greater than denominator. Okay, but there is another one rule for improper fraction also. Do you know what? When numerator and denominator are same. When numerator and denominator are same, that time also that fraction is called improper fraction. Like I am writing here seven by seven. Here also numerator and the denominator both are same. So this time also this type of fraction is called improper fraction. Okay, next. we will go to the mixed fraction what is called mixed fraction at first we will know that a mixed fraction is a fraction where there is a whole number and a proper fraction. 
fraction. Suppose I am writing here 2, 3 by 4. 2 whole 3 by 4. We will read this in this way. What? 2 whole 3 by 4. Here 2 is the whole number and 3 by 4 is a proper fraction. So mixed fraction consists of a whole number and a proper fraction. Okay. Again I am writing another one. Suppose I am writing 5 whole 1 by 3. 5 whole 1 by 3 where 5 is a whole number and 1 by 3 is a proper fraction. So the definition of mixed fraction will be in this way. A mixed fraction is a fraction where there is a whole number and a proper fraction. Okay. Okay, so the next is change into mixed fraction. What we have to do here, improper fraction will be given to you. You have to convert it into mixed fraction. Okay, how you will do, I am telling you. Suppose the first one, what is given here? 49 by 8. So what you have to do? We have to do the division. 49 divided by 8. Okay. So, as we know, 8, 6 is 48. So, here remainder comes 1. Okay. So, what we will do now, the mixed fraction will be in this way. At first, we will write the quotient. We will write the quotient. Then, at the top, we will write the remainder. And at the below, we will write the divisor. So, this is the formula to write a mixed fraction. From an improper fraction to write a mixed fraction, this is the formula. Quotient, remainder by divisor. So, here what is the quotient? 6. So, here we will write 6. What is the remainder? 1. So, we will write here 1. And what is the divisor? 8. So, we will write in this way 6 whole 1 by 8. So, this is the answer. Next, again we will do for the second one, 17 by 5. 17 by 5, again we have to convert it into mixed fraction. What we will do? We will do division. 17 divided by 5. 5, 3 is a 15. Okay? 2 comes down as the remainder. We know the formula. What is the formula? Quotient. That means 3. Remainder at the top. That means 2. And divisor at the below, that means 70, sorry, 5. So, the answer is 3 whole 2 by 5. This will be our answer. Again, we are doing one, another one, that is 4 by 3. Okay, so we will divide 4, sorry, we will divide 4 by 3. 3 ones are 3, 1 comes down, right? So, here, what is the formula? Quotient at the side, quotient here, I have written 1. Remainder at the top, that means this one will be at the top and divisor at the below, that means 3. So, 3 I will write here. So, our answer is 1 whole 1 by 3. This is our answer. In this way, any improper fraction can be changed into a mixed fraction. Okay, and the next one is change into improper fraction. Here, mixed fraction will be given to you. And you have to change that into improper fraction. This type of sum normally consists of two steps. What are the steps? I am telling you. What we have to do at first is we have to multiply this with this. Okay. That means 2 multiply by 5. 2 multiply by 5 that means 10. What answer will come that answer have to be added that should be added with the top one that means 10 plus 1 that means 11 so now we will write the fraction as 11 by this 5 11 by 5 okay in this way again in the second one i'm telling you what you have to do at first you have to multiply this and this that means 2 into 4 that means 8 and this 8 should be added with this one okay that means 8 plus 3 that means 11 so what we have to do 
we have to write in this way 11 this 11 we have to write 11 by the below one that means 4 so the answer will be 11 by 4 again the third one what we have to do we have to multiply this with this okay so 3 into 7 that means 7 3 is a 21 this 21 have to be added with this that means 21 plus 2 that means 23 and what we have to do we have to write this 23 at the top and this 7 at the below that means 23 by 7 is our final answer okay so till now we have done sums now you have to practice some sums by your own okay you have to solve this sums by your own so i'm giving you the questions and i'm telling you what is in the question let's practice so the first question is give two examples of the following proper fraction you have to write two example of proper fraction Improper fraction. You have to give two examples of improper fraction. Next is mixed fraction. You have to give two examples of mixed fraction. Next is express into mixed fraction. In these four, in these four numbers or four fractions are given which are improper fraction. You have to convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction. The way I have shown you in this video. Next the third one is change into improper fraction. Here four mixed fraction are given to you. And you have to convert these four improper mixed fraction into improper fraction so what you have to do you have to pause the video here and you have to take a screenshot and after that by opening that you have to write the questions and you have to do the sums in your maths copy okay till then stay good and stay happy and practice more and more sums at home bye